No flashy launch, no teaser campaign, just a quiet decision that could upend everything we thought we knew about the future of performance. If you think the EV race is already won, think again, because Koenigsegg might be about to pull off the unthinkable, and no one's ready for what's coming next. From the beginning, Koenigsegg never followed trends. While the rest of the automotive world was busy chasing lap times with bloated engineering teams and badge prestige, Christian von Koenigsegg was building rockets disguised as cars out of a small factory in Angelholm, Sweden. No big marketing budgets, no legacy to coast on, just one relentless mission, create the fastest, most innovative machines on the planet, and prove that one company could out-engineer the giants. The first car, the CC8S, was a warning shot. Then came the CCR which briefly held the title of the world's fastest production car. But it wasn't until the Ajera RS that the world really started paying attention. In 2017, it shattered the production car speed record, 277.9 miles per hour without breaking a sweat. It didn't just beat the competition, it embarrassed them. While everyone else talked traction control, Koenigsegg was out there rewriting physics. But this obsession with speed was never just about straight-line performance. Every detail, from the monocoque tub to the triplex suspension, reflected a philosophy. Everything must serve performance, and anything that doesn't, goes. No fluff, no gimmicks, just raw engineering. And that's what separates Koenigsegg. It's not just about horsepower, it's about control, balance, ingenuity. Then came the Regera, a car that didn't even have a traditional gearbox. Koenigsegg called it Direct Drive, a revolutionary setup that eliminated the need for gear changes entirely. The result? Seamless acceleration with hybrid torque that could turn your insides to soup. And yet, even with three electric motors and a twin-turbo V8 under the hood, it somehow felt elegant, like the world's fastest grand piano. Of course, none of this would matter without the man behind it. Christian isn't your typical CEO, he's part inventor, part speed freak, part philosopher. He once said, why do we build fast cars because we can? But that doesn't mean it's reckless. There's always purpose behind the madness. He's obsessed with thermodynamics, power to weight ratios, and how to extract more energy from less fuel. He's also one of the few people who can sketch out an engine idea on a napkin, and then watch it come to life six months later. Behind every Koenigsegg model is a years-long process of trial, failure, reinvention, and finally perfection. And once it hits perfection, they start again. Because in their world, good enough means nothing. It's why they handcraft components other manufacturers outsource. Why they invent their own carbon fiber technology. Why they built a 3D printer just to make titanium exhaust tips. Every shortcut avoided is a second shaved off the track. That mindset is what turned Koenigsegg from a boutique supercar maker into a name that makes Ferrari and Bugatti lose sleep. And while the industry is now charging headfirst into an electric future, Koenigsegg has remained cautious, not reluctant, just methodical. Because Christian knows something that many don't, speed alone doesn't win the war, innovation does. And sometimes, the fastest car isn't the one that hits 300 miles per hour on paper, but the one that dares to ask, what if we did things completely differently? Koenigsegg is always chasing that question. And lately it seems they've been working on an answer that's unlike anything we've seen before. One that might not just raise the bar, but flip the entire game on its head. But we'll get to that. Right now, all you need to know is this. Koenigsegg is up to something, again. Enter the Gamera family car track monster. When Koenigsegg announced the Gamera, people thought it was a prank a four-seater grand tourer from the same brand that builds cars with fighter jet doors and speeds that scare NASA? It didn't make sense, until it did. Because Koenigsegg wasn't just making a family car, they were making the family car. One that could fit four adults comfortably, carry luggage, and still out-accelerate a Bugatti Chiron. The Gamera wasn't a compromise, it was a dare. This wasn't a car built for balance, it was built for contradiction. Luxury meets lunacy practicality fused with power and it all started under the skin. Instead of going with a big V12 or a bulky EV setup, Koenigsegg introduced the world to the tiny friendly giant, or TFG for short, a 2.0-liter three-cylinder engine that alone turned heads. But what dropped jaws was what it could do, 600 horsepower thanks to twin turbos and camless free-valve tech. No cams, no belts, just software controlling every valve in real time. The engine could shut off cylinders mid-drive or breathe differently depending on how hard you pushed it. It wasn't just small, it was smart and terrifyingly efficient. Of course, this wasn't just about internal combustion. Koenigsegg knew the future leaned electric. 
so they added three motors, one for each rear wheel and one on the crankshaft. Together with the TFG, the Gamera produced up to 1,700 horsepower. It could run purely electric, purely gas, or mix both for brutal acceleration. And despite being a plug-in hybrid, it didn't care much about your range anxiety. It offered over 600 miles of total range with a full tank and charge. That's Stockholm to Paris in one go, without slowing down. Then came the design. At first glance, it looked like a Koenigsegg, sleek, low, aggressive, but then you noticed the massive clamshell doors, no B-pillar. The whole side of the car opened like a sci-fi airlock, revealing a cabin that felt more like a Scandinavian lounge than a hypercar. Four individual bucket seats, full infotainment for front and back, cup holders, yes, actual cup holders in a Koenigsegg. The absurdity wasn't lost on anyone. What made it work, though, was the control. Despite its size and weight, the Gamera wasn't a boat. It handled like a car half its size thanks to active rear-wheel steering, torque vectoring, and a carbon monocoque chassis. It was still a Koenigsegg at heart, sharp, responsive, alive. And while other manufacturers were still trying to figure out how to make electric SUVs handle like sports cars, Koenigsegg had already made a four-seater that could drift around corners and still seat grandma in the back. But as always with Koenigsegg, there's more going on than meets the eye. Even the original Gamera spec wasn't the final form. Whispers from the factory hinted at a version with even more power, a different engine, something that would change the entire platform. And in 2023 they confirmed it, offering the hot V8 from the Jesco as an option. That meant 2,300 horsepower. In a family car. No, seriously. That meant 2,300 horsepower in a family car. No, seriously. It wasn't about chasing EVs, it was about staying ahead of them. And while the world kept waiting for Koenigsegg to go fully electric, the company kept showing the industry there's still a smarter way, a more thrilling way. One that doesn't rely on heavy batteries or artificial noise but real mechanical drama, with just enough volts to make the whole thing even scarier. The Gamera proved that Koenigsegg could do the unthinkable blend everyday usability with record-breaking performance. But according to insiders, the Gamera might also be the testing ground for something even more extreme. Because behind the scenes, a new formula has been brewing. One that doesn't just push boundaries, it ignores them entirely. Koenigsegg's never been shy about doing things their own way, but with the dark matter motor, they didn't just step out of the box, they vaporized it. When the company unveiled this single electric motor setup for the production version of the Gamera, the message was clear. Forget what you know about EV powertrains. This was something else entirely. First, the basics. On paper at least, dark matter is a six-phase raxial flux motor combining radial and axial flux designs into one extremely compact, brutally efficient unit. It delivers 800 horsepower and 1,250 newton meters of torque. That's from a single motor. No dual motors. No gimmicks. Just raw, concentrated power in a package small enough to fit inside a carry-on bag. If that sounds like science fiction, welcome to Koenigsegg. Most manufacturers are still relying on traditional three-phase motors. They're reliable, sure, but limited in terms of scalability and efficiency. Koenigsegg's six-phase architecture spreads the workload more evenly, reducing heat and increasing torque delivery across the board. That means fewer moving parts, less heat soak, and more consistent performance, whether you're cruising through town or launching off the line like your life depends on it. The design isn't just clever, it's strategic. Koenigsegg engineers realized they didn't need multiple motors to get insane torque vectoring or precise power control. The dark matter unit works in perfect harmony with Koenigsegg's bespoke torque converter and inverter tech, offering real-time response with almost no energy loss. Every surge of power is immediate. Every corner is handled with surgical control. And because of the motor's compact size, it frees up space for better packaging, weight distribution, and most importantly, more room for Koenigsegg to tinker with other systems. What makes this even more significant is what it replaced. The original Gamera prototype used three electric motors, one on each rear wheel and one on the crankshaft. That setup worked well, but it added weight and complexity. With dark matter, Koenigsegg achieved better output using just one motor. That kind of leap doesn't happen by accident. It happens when you question everything and rebuild it from scratch. Christian von Koenigsegg himself described the dark matter system as an entirely new direction. And he meant it. It's not just a component, it's a philosophy efficiency over excess, precision over bulk. Where others throw more hardware at the problem, Koenigsegg refines, streamlines, simplifies, without compromise. 
It's the kind of engineering that makes other companies nervous, not because they can't understand it, but because they can't replicate it. Of course, it's not just about numbers on a spec sheet. The real beauty of dark matter is how it feels. Instant torque, no lag, no hesitation. Koenigsegg's CEO said the line that's now echoing across the automotive world, this new engine will wipe the floor with all electric cars in 2025. It wasn't bravado, it was confidence backed by years of obsessive development. While other manufacturers leaned harder into batteries, Koenigsegg went back to first principles, rethinking what an engine could be in a world obsessed with silent speed and synthetic thrills. The result isn't a rebellion, it's a revelation. This isn't the end of Koenigsegg's hybrid future, it's the foundation of it. An engine that brings the emotion back to performance. An engine that doesn't just survive the electric age, but challenges it. And if Christian's right, it may have just redefined what comes next. So now the question is, if Koenigsegg just built a machine that outperforms every EV and keeps the soul of driving alive, is the electric revolution already outdated before it even peaked?